Neil, what, what can we say? You, you've done countless interviews already, but you're speaking to us now in inspiration number seven. How do you feel? Wow. Um, incredibly proud. You know, players, supporters, the football club. You know, to achieve this, particularly in the way we have, um, to come in and win. It's incredible. And I don't think we've got the value for the win, to be honest with you. There's echoes of the Battle of Works off both ways and you know, Halifax, it was just we got a goal, we stuck in and then in the second half, a cushion. And what did you feel about the team when we got that second goal? So we were excellent, I had a game plan, you know, and I'm, I'm, I asked them to carry things out that I think will give them the best opportunity to win the game. And to be fair to them, they trust me and they go about it. Um, and you've seen it today. I thought we, as I said, we good value with the bar to the post. Apart from the goal. Um, and then they're going to come on to them. Good team, aren't they? The technical players, from the technical players they've got. Just look at the game plan. Closing areas that we had to close. And we uh, did it. And, and yeah, uh, I was, hopefully we can hear the crowd uh, as the players are just taking the cup over to them. There's 1,200 over there, they, they saw Kane Drummond score one back and then it became a very cagey, then yellow cards were flying left and right. Yeah. How was the final 15 minutes for you? Fine, it's one of the top off. you know, it's, it's one of them, we've been in these situations, experiences, I've been in these situations, I've been in situations loads of times, not playoff finals, but big games, and you're going to come under the cosh and you're going to have to dig in. The lads have been asked, they know what, the lads who come on know what their roles are. Um, and when you've got that and you've got lads who want to carry it out and don't want to go off and do their own thing, you know, what you get, these lads stick to what they've been asked to do. And it's not difficult football, it's made difficult. But if you get it right tactically and then lads are willing to go and carry it out and, and put the bodies on the line, the effort, the running, the work, you lads have seen them. And wow, absolutely wow to, to, to win this today. And to get promoted out of this league is a, is a massive ask. And, um, so proud. Yeah, and just two more questions. One is about the crowd that we can see. So the crowd, the away crowd we've got is basically our home average this season. Yeah. Seven coaches, twelve hundred fans against five thousand Macclesfield fans. What can you say that you haven't already said to them through the season? Both sets of fans thought it was good. You know, it was a lively game, it was loud. We knew we had to try and stay in the game for 20, 25 minutes because you know, try and make them as nervous as we possibly could. Um, but our support is fantastic and this is what they deserve, you know, and, and hopefully, from, I, I said it all the time, I've been football management for me, non-league football management, is about uh, making people happy, and uh, to, to keep, you know, they'll all have a good bank holiday, um, and they've had a good season, you know, to achieve what we've achieved in such a short space of time is, for, for me personally, from when we came, when I came into the club back in 2018, is incredible. You spoke about players sticking together through the game, but that once the parties die down, you've got to try and stick as many of these players together as you possibly can for next season. You obviously had two game plans. One, if this didn't happen, but now that you pulled it off, how do you go about planning? I've had no game plan. In terms of next season, what's next? I don't know what's next. I'll be dead honest with you. For me personally, it's been, you know, when you haven't got the resources of everyone else or, or a lot of teams, you've got to work that little bit harder as a manager. And, Believe me, it takes it to top, you know, um, and I'm worn out, if I'm honest. So, yeah, so it's about today, it's just all. It's about enjoying, enjoying this. This doesn't always happen, believe me. And to be able to achieve this for the football club and the fans, and the area really, on the back of what we've done with Tottenham and promotion a couple of years back, after what happened to Farsley, not so long ago, uh, back in 2018-19, whenever it was. You've got, to, you've got to soak this up because I always say don't move on too fast this may not ever happen again so enjoy it yeah. and supporters enjoy it well, and staff enjoy it media enjoy it because this doesn't always happen well I hope you have a good hard rest through the summer uh, this is an I'll see you again for the next season.